Welcome to Module 1 of Making a Lucrative Income with Your Home Studio. Module 1 is entitled, The Big Picture. All right, the big picture. Let's talk about some truths and myths. Now, whether you prefer being alone, working as a mad scientist in your home studio, or hiring and or collaborating with others as a hands-off owner in your home studio, this course is designed for you. The bottom line is that it answers the question, how do I create and operate a lucrative home studio? Now, before we talk about building or upgrading your home studio, I'm going to take you on a tour of reality. Now, during this tour of reality, I'm going to shatter some very securely fastened myths. All right, myth number one. You have to complete building or upgrading your home studio before you can open it for business. Truth. I made $60,000 a year for the first two years I was in business with my unbuilt home studio. I didn't start building it until my third year. Isn't that backwards? Shouldn't you build it and then they will come? Not necessarily. Keep watching. Okay, myth number two. Your gear, room, sound treatment, computer, DAW software have got to be top-notch pro studio quality before you let your first customer anywhere near your home studio. Truth. I learned <laughs> that your gear, room, studio, computer, DAW software are not your top priorities when it comes to operating a lucrative home studio. Priority number one, now listen to this, is your attitude and actions while interacting with others and your ability to handle adversity. Priority number two, how good your ear is, not how good your gear is. I created a strategy for myself and my business whereby I invested in my home studio after I made money with my home studio, not the other way around. While working with Dave Kusek and Chelsea Ira on putting this course together, it became loud and clear that the best way to lay out the sequence for this course, how to make a lucrative income with your home studio, was to follow the actual real life sequence that led to a lucrative home studio for me in the first place. Therefore, we'll be starting the meat and potatoes of this course with priority one and priority two. Again, priority one, your attitude and actions while interacting with others, including your ability to handle adversity. I'm sure you can relate. And number two, how good your ear is, not how good your gear is. For now, let's continue on with our tour of reality. Myth, if you don't have expensive analog gear, your mixes will never compete with hit records. Truth, I recorded a cover version of U2's hit song, One, in my home studio. All digital, in the box, no analog gear and sent it to legendary U2 Grammy-winning platinum producer Steve Lillywhite. Now, the original song was recorded at the legendary Hansa Studios in Berlin on all analog gear. Steve responded by email within 10 minutes. Hi, Gary. Sounds just like the original, two exclamation marks. I responded, thanks, Steve. That's a great compliment coming from you. Myth. You need people with better ears than yours to master your mixes. These people have special powers that you'll never attain. Truth. I've developed a music production ear training program that allows anyone to shatter that myth within a matter of weeks. While most tutorials and courses focus on gear and tricks, I focus on you and your ear. The greatest mixing and mastering engineers, if you talk to them behind the scenes, They'll tell you they don't really care what gear they're using. As long as it's working, they can deliver amazing masterpiece recordings on whatever equipment they are using and in whatever room they have to work in. And that's because they have developed their ear to the point where they have extreme confidence in themselves. As a note, I teach all my students how to master their own mixes, and therefore they become extremely competent mixing engineers. Myth. Mastering takes years to learn and is way harder than mixing. Only certain rare super gifted gods with superhuman ears can become great mastering engineers. Don't try this at home. Truth. Mastering is a hundred times easier to learn than mixing. 
Anyone with the right education and ear training exercises can learn to master professionally. To become the best mixing engineer you can be, it's best to learn mastering at some point, preferably before you learn mixing, but it's never too late. Myth, you need a big space with excellent acoustics for your home studio. Truth, my 14 by 14 foot bedroom home studio generates a six figure income. Myth, you need to spend a lot of money on sound treatment for your home studio. Truth, total money I've spent for sound treatment in my home studio, zero dollars. Myth, you have to invest in expensive preamps and mics and speakers worth at least four to $5,000 in order to create radio-ready recordings in your home studio. Truth, I spent less than $1,000 and I have very happy clients, such as the Disney Music Group, 20th Century Fox, and a recent production I did in my home studio earned a Telly Award. <laughs>